So here we are with the VXDAS tire pressure relearning tool, the TPA01. I'm going to just kind of go over how it works exactly. It's definitely a long process, so I'm not going to do it all, but um, I'm going to talk to you a bit about it. So you got to put a 9 volt battery in here, and then this is your power button on the back, okay? Antenna up top, and then this is for the actual. Um, tire. So when you push the power button, you'll see the green light come on. You got a couple different things over here. This button is going to control your uh, measurement. So here in the U.S., we're going to primarily keep it in PSI, I imagine. That's what I would do. And then this is the actual relearning button. So that is how you set it up. So really, you've just got the two buttons, and this one you're just going to leave in PSI, and this button you're going to push at the appropriate time. So we'll talk a little bit about that. So to get your car set up for this, typically you got to get it into that tire pressure training mode, which can be kind of a complex algorithm of activities, right? You know, stepping on the parking brake, turning the car key off three times, step on the parking brake again, turn off the car key, then turn it off to on three times. I mean, there's a lot of different ways to get it into that learning mode, okay? But once you have it in that learning mode, then you want to start up at that left front tire. That's where we are right now. And you want to turn the antenna of this monitor towards the car kind of straight up. So you want to have it like this, right? You want to have it in this type of position, okay? So that that antenna is up, all right? And what you're going to do is just press and release um, this right button. So you'll have it on here. We'll have it in, put it in here, and then we'll press and release this button, which is the tire. You can see there, that's that button that we think of when we have low tire pressure, right? So you'll press, press and release that button, and you're just going to wait for the horn to sound. And once the um, horn buzzes, the information's read, then just go ahead and we we'll go to the next one. So. Just gonna go around and do those at each one, kind of following the same suit and following however your car responds or confirms once you've got it at the right pressure, okay? So once you get to the last one, usually that your horn's gonna buzz twice. There'll be some kind of different type of sound that lets you know that you've gotten through the whole, you know, all four tires, all right? So this is going to range from 0 to 150 PSI, so you shouldn't have any issue with any car tires. So check out VXDAS, and this is the TPA01.